Yes, everybody, welcome, welcome. This is yours, truly, Dave Show or Dave Nation Show. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I gotta set out the welcome party here. Welcome to my podcast. Every single day, I try to do a podcast for you, the listener, and the viewer, whatever the case may be. Um, and it will be on YouTube if you're going to ask me the first time. Um, yes. And by the way, one point before I get onto my topic today. Uh, I want you guys to hit that like button. Yes, I'm going to say it like a YouTuber would say it. Hit that like button or smash the like button, as they would say. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It does help. It does help. Just a word to the wise, everybody. Uh, and, uh, yes, we want to get subs. They always, <laughs> YouTubers tend to say subs. Yes, we want subs. Uh, likes. If you like or dislike, you can like it or dislike. It's up to you. Uh, uh, but if you see the video or hear the audio, that's okay. Um, and uh, now on to my, as they say, on to the topic at hand, right? On to the topic at hand. Uh, the topic we're going to run by today, today in all days, uh, we're going to talk about this woman uh, named called Cortez. Yes. Uh, so everybody say three times Cortez, right? Yes. This is a woman's name, not a guy's name, just so you know. Um, uh, Cortez is coming from the 14th District. Now, I only know a little bit about her uh, in terms of uh, what, what role she plays in all of this government thing. Uh, a lot of people in Capitol Hill who uh, do all the Senate and the House stuff, I'm getting a little confused about her. I really am in terms of what role she plays in all this. I really, really have a hard time really grasping at this. It's like grasping at straws in a way, if you know what I mean. Part of the fun. Um, so... She's all over the map. At one point, she was talking about the Green New Deal. Other days, she's talking about, um, you know, uh, he's saying, uh, you know, like, uh, 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 kind of like Joe Biden. She wanted to endorse Joe Biden. Yeah, endorse Joe Biden. Uh, next minute, she wants to endorse Joe Biden. Next minute, I heard it today. I don't know what she was saying about something about someone apologizing to someone. Uh, and uh, <laughs> that was what she was touting today. Uh, so, I can, I can, I get, for me, I, it's it like, the old saying goes, I get mixed message out of her. I get mixed messages. Uh, so, it's, like I said, these people have a role to play. I keep saying time and time again, role to play. Uh, that means, that means whatever department they're going with and what they're touting. Um, and yeah, if you're, uh, I'll give you an example. If people want examples, I'll give you an example. The better use of my, uh, my services would be, like, if I was a minister of education, I would talk about the education front. If I was talking about the minister of uh, finance, I would talk balancing books, uh, and, uh, does it, uh, does it, you know, does it add up or anything like that. And, uh, that's, <laughs> that's what, uh, in government that, People play their role, but but I'm talking about this lady, so-called. She goes by the name of Cortez. Now say it three times. Uh, so there you go, folks. Three times, uh, three times a charm, right? Anyway, uh, Cortez. Yes, she's from the 14th district. I'll say it again. She's from the 14th district. I don't know where that is. Um, and uh, she's touted on uh, whatever she touts. Uh, she has not. She's not very boisterous. Some people are very boisterous in what they want to get out there on, on video, to uh, TV. And these people have a voice. These people have a voice. Seriously, no kidding. Uh, I've seen these people uh, uh, on TV have a voice, big, strong opinion. Uh, and they're really uh, highly, well, they're not, they're sometimes highly regarded like having a strong opinion about something. And I get that. I get that completely. You know, people have a strong opinion, very strong opinion. Yes, I get that. But, you know, it's, you know, it kind of outweighs. Um, but anyway, anyway, that's them. But anyway, I like to say that Cortez, she's good, she's good. She's not, nothing wrong about her. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out as, as an individual person or a, a citizen of Canada, I'm trying to figure out her out. Uh, really, really, I'm trying my darndest to figure her out. Oh, by the way, I almost forget before I before I get off this recording. Um, she was telling, I think, a few weeks back about this uh, this food stuff. And I forget, Guile, I think it's Guile or something. I can't even pronounce the name properly. Uh, Guile, I think she was promoting a food called Guile. 
and I think some other woman uh, was in the store, saw it being empty, and she was uh, asking about Cortez, about her 14th district uh, that she, uh, uh, you know, she runs by, and I think she was from a, a <laughs> I don't know where she came from. Anyway, she was uh, vlogging out and telling Cortez about a few things. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I got that video for a bit, and, uh, she was just saying, like a politician would say, you know, you know, in a, uh, in a sort of manner, you know, if you ask me. Um, uh, but anyway, like I said, Cortez is a good person, good person, but I still don't know what her role with the government. I'm getting confused. I don't know if anybody at Capitol Hill realized what role she plays. We know a few people at Capitol Hill in their role to play, and, and they usually have some districts they play on. And this is from the New York area. Um, and they they always say they always talk to their constituents, if I'm saying it right. Yeah, and uh, these people are for you as a, uh, they're there to represent you, as they will always say. Uh, as an individual, I don't know, uh, take as you will, I'm saying what I'm saying here. Uh, so, yes. Um, so, there you go, folks. Uh, Cortez. Um, now, I don't know her age. I'm not giving her age out there. I'm not touting it. Uh, so, yeah, she's from the 14th District. You can ask her that, by the way, if you see her next time. Uh, and Cortez, I think uh, she gets a little... She's been touting a lot of things. I mean, from the climate change, Green New Deal, to uh, somebody has to apologize to some, something. I don't know what. Uh, uh, and there's always no, no, no politician, I uh, usually hear politicians say, no politician is accepted. You know, they usually got to do what they got to do. No, no policy is accepted. But yeah, Cortez, she's all over the map with topics. And that's great, that's great, that's great, no question about it. But I, to me, it's hard for me to comprehend what she's uh, there for, really. really. It's really confusing for a lot of people. Yeah, I think one of these days someone will have to ask Cortez about what her role in government is really is, and really let the gov uh, let the American people know what her role is. Not to be angry or anything like that. Just ask her what her role is, and we'll get an idea, so we get the whole notion about what she does. You know, you know what she does in government. That's all. We're not, we're not, you know, uh, telling telling her or. Uh. So there you go, folks. So again, this is a little brief, a uh, little brief know-how about uh, uh, Cortez. Now I don't know her age. I'm assuming she's in her 40s or 50s. Uh, the way I see her and presented, uh, but I'm just guessing her age. I'm just guessing her age at this moment. Uh, so there you go, folks. Uh, I'm gonna let you be for now. But just remember, um, I get confused to these people that work in uh, in. Uh, New York City, let alone here in Canada. We have Justin Trudeau to thank for it. He speaks two languages. I've mentioned several times, uh, English and French. If you know the French language, he, they can say it out in French. They'll say it in French, and then they'll have a translator say it in English. And, uh, yes, yeah, so it's all because of uh, Quebec, uh, Canada of Quebec, and Canada of Montreal. They speak in a French language. Yeah, and Justin Trudeau, anyway, I'm not getting into uh, Justin Trudeau right away, but Cortez, anyway, I'm going to leave you for guys, I'll let you think on what I just said, and uh, just ask her nicely, just ask her what, what role is she play in the government, just ask her nicely, don't, you know, sneak her up on her, just say, okay, what role does she play in the government, and we'll get an idea so we, we're we not all confused about what, she, what role she plays, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering, uh, and uh, to, you know, not to uh, call her out or anything, just to let her know one of these days, ask her, say, hey, what role do you play, Cortez? You're from the 14th District. Yeah. Okay, so we get an idea where you're from. So, uh, so just ask her. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys now, and you guys have a thought to think. I always run by an idea for you people to think about. Um and, uh, yes, what you hear in the background is Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're on Fox News. Can I pr promote the station that they're on? Uh, Fox News, uh, continuous coverage. And one point before I get, before I go, I want you guys to stay safe, be careful out there, wear your mask, wash your hands and everything else. 
and you guys will be have a good day and be on your merry way. <laughs>